Our first question comes from Peter Afutu, who says, hello, Brad, I'm an F1 visa status. I filed for my marriage-based green card on December 11th, 2023. I had my biometric on January 25th, 2024. Please, can I possibly get my EAD, my green card approved? It sounds like you will get it approved. I don't make the final decision. You're begging for me to get it approved. I don't get it approved. Immigration approves it. But if you're asking me when it's going to happen, you should get your work permit by June and hopefully your green card by next year if you did everything right. All right, let's go to the next question from Natasha B. Greetings, Brad. How soon can I visit my home country after I become a citizen, given that my green card through asylum? Well, now that you're a citizen, it's going to be very difficult for immigration to take your citizenship away. So au revoir. Enjoy your travels. I hope you're safe because you said years ago that you're scared to go back. Maybe things have changed by now. Natasha B. Can a green card holder through marriage to a permanent resident apply for citizenship after three years, even if the husband doesn't want to be a citizen yet? The answer is no. You have to wait five years. The only three years is if you're married to a citizen, not married to a resident. Ethel. My husband refused to give adjustment of status for my son after petitioning for him because I caught him cheating. And now I want a divorce. He stopped the petition. Can I in any way get my son to join me? Yes. If, well, your son's filing an adjustment of status, your husband was abusive to your son. He can do an abuse case as, you know, step parent to son abuse case. Or if you become a citizen and your son is still under 21 at the time, he would then be able to readjust his status again. So those would probably be the two ways that I would start questioning. Maybe there's other ways as well. If we have a consultation. J love. Hey, Brad, this is a long question. Oh gosh. All right. I'll answer the long question. Prior to a previous video, I saw my born USA citizen husband is on his second marriage. He gave citizenship to his first husband nine years ago. And they've been separated for three years. And now they're divorced in January 24. Now he marries me in February 2024. And we got married six weeks ago. Is this going to be a red flag for USCIS? No. They've been separated for three years. You're in a relationship with the man. They finally got divorced and you married. What's the big deal? Of course, USCIS is going to believe your marriage as long as it's real. And you live together. I don't see any problem, J-Love. Thumbs up. You're all good. Authorine Richards. Good evening, Mr. Brad. I'm a U.S. citizen. I would like to file for my 15-year-old stepdaughter, and I'm married to her dad. However, she had a baby in December. Can I add the baby to her I-130? No, you cannot add the baby to the I-130. The baby gets added to the I-130 because you have to list that she had a child, but she's going to be the only one who gets a green card. But if she takes the baby on her first entry into the United States of America and the baby is under two years old when she gets her immigrant visa, they will give the baby a parole visa to come with the mother into the United States. If she takes the baby on the first visit, she can't leave the baby behind, go to the U.S. and come back and say, now I want my baby. You got to take the baby on the first visit with the immigrant visa to the U.S. You'll get a parole for that baby. And then when the baby's in the U.S., your stepdaughter has a green card, baby has a parole, your stepdaughter would file as a permanent resident mother for her, and then ultimately when the priority date for that baby is reached, baby would file an adjustment of status. That's how it works. Lily, how long does it take to get the interview date? What interview date, Lily? What interview date are you talking about? I need to know more. Stella. We got married in February and intend to file before the end of March. I'm on an F1 student. We don't have yet much evidence except for pictures. Is it too soon to file? No. You're married to a U.S. citizen. File, file, file. Start the process. You're going to get an interview in one year. In one year, if you're living together and have a financial relationship, you'll have plenty of documents to bring in to prove it's a bona fide marriage. Fiona. Hey, Brad. What's up with Sige? Pending I-45 a year and a half now, how can we sue them? You can't sue them unless the SIG was started back in 2018. Because what's going on with SIG right now is weird, weird the way they did SIG. SIG is 
in the employment-based four category, even though it has nothing to do with employment-based under its special immigrant visas. And they're clumped together with religious workers and a whole bunch of other people with special visas. Why a special immigrant juvenile would be in an employment-based category EB4 is cuckoo, but that's what it is. So unfortunately, now there's a waiting list. So that's why you probably haven't heard because probably your I-360 SIG was filed sometime after 2018. Tenzin, I filed for my mom through asylum and now I'm a U.S. citizen. In the asylum petition form, her place of birth is different from her passport. What should I do? Well, where is her place of birth? Is it correct in the passport? Or is it correct in the birth certificate? And then whichever one is the correct place, that's the one you put down on the application. And then you get the other document corrected. Pretty logical. Katie, hi, Brad. How long does it normally take to get a reply from USCS Vermont on an IA24 kids for in Jamaica? About nine months. Marlena, what's I-601A likelihood to be granted after the I-130? Marlena, it depends who your lawyer is. I'm your lawyer. We get majority of our I-601As approved. You do it on your own. You don't have as solid a lawyer as me, maybe less. Well, it depends on who's doing it and, and obviously what your extreme hardship is. Yeah.